Good afternoon, everybody. And uh, we are Tuesday today. And uh, I'm Céline Ross, a genome educator for Canada. And uh, today I will show you how to use, mm, I never know the word by heart, rolled ham foot. So, you ready? Let's go. Yes, I'm okay. I switched camera. Somebody asked me to remove OBS cam. I'd like to find the way to do it. I don't know how to do it. So when we'll find out, I'll remove that word. But I think you see well anyway, because the most important is the, is the work. Eh? But I, it's annoying to be there. I'm better on, <laughs> on sewing than on computers. So, um, okay. So what is a rolled hem? This is a rolled hem. This is on the, it's done on the wrong side of the fabric, eh? but the result, you see it. Okay. So it's a narrow M. This one is the narrower. So today I'm using a nine millimeter machine, any model of nine millimeter machine, any model of seven millimeter machine. You know, sometimes people ask on which machine I work, uh, I work on, oh, I don't have that machine. Oh, uh, are you sure it's gonna work on your machine? So, of course I'm using the Memorycraft 15,000, but I say all nine millimeter machine, all seven millimeter machine, and I'm using the Canada 150th anniversary um, uh, th this is my only seven millimeter in my sewing school. Everything is nine millimeter. So this is why I'm using it to show you. I, I keep only one just uh, just in case. And you know, Tamara Kate, oh, you should visit her website. She's a, she's a designer of everything. Website, logos, uh, quilt, fabric, uh, she sells, uh, she designed the fabric for Michael Miller. Anyway, this is not the point today. And uh, anyway, you, you go, you should go and see what she made on her website, Tamara Kate, okay? She lives uh, 15, 20 minutes from my sewing school. She lives in Montreal. Fabulous, fabulous designer and a real nice person. Okay, so back on our machine. Why do I say? nine and seven because and and five millimeter but i really have nothing on five millimeter here to present to you but if you have a five millimeter machine you can do it to do it perfectly you need the foot that goes with your machine so sometimes it depends what kind of machine you bought if you bought a really really low one maybe you don't have that foot but you can buy it okay so because nine millimeter look at the difference between the two major uh no i'll do it this way so you'll see better you'll see the difference between it's obvious huh seven millimeter nine millimeter so of course the attachment is wider but it does the same same thing but here it will produce a two millimeter rolled hem or hem. And this one will produce a three millimeter, no smaller than three, no smaller than two. So that comes with many machine. If not, you can buy it from your dealer. Just tell them the machine, the model number you have. And then there is optional feed. Again, seven millimeter nine millimeter these are optional okay four millimeter hem and you see it here oops it's still moving hold on i'm gonna move that camera which is okay four millimeter d2 six millimeter d1 so because they're wide it's a nine millimeter machine same thing 
D1, D2, 4 mm, 6 mm on a 7 mm machine. And when you buy them, you know, you have to, you have the, um, you have the blister pack. So you be careful, huh? 9 mm and the other one, you have to ask your dealer to make sure. But it says horizontal rotary hook model. And at the back, you have a little a resume or a little uh, way of how to use it. But I'll, I'll tell you more about this after, okay? So I will start with the regular foot that comes with the machine I have now. Okay, remember always my, my thread underneath the foot in the thread holder to have a nice tight uh, uh, thread, uh, you know, with the tension of the thread. Okay, so if I come here, this is cotton. So I'll show you regular with straight stitch, three millimeter, zigzag with three millimeter, four millimeter, six millimeter. Then you're gonna say, can I sew over seams? Yes, I'll show it to you. Can I turn corner? And yes, I'll show it to you, okay? So, let's start with samples everybody knows this fabric you see it's for a dish it's a dish cloth you know you buy it by the yard it's finished on the side you still have to finish the end huh? okay so you see you finish it always on the wrong side and this is the six millimeter uh yes yeah, six, six millimeter this one is, this fabric is thicker. So this is cotton. This is linen. I'm not sure it's 100% linen or cotton and linen, but I think it's 100% linen. And this we buy at the store. While this, a customer, when I go and teach, you know, at dealer's place, a customer was probably very happy with my teaching and uh, with me she did she weave this okay and I did the embroidery and the finishing is done with a zigzag and a six millimeter and I want to point out that I embroidered everything so she weave it and she offer it to me so this is weaving and offer it to me because she has a weaving um, uh, uh, machine, I would say, but wide, very wide. She does also blankets. Her name is Pauline Dufour. I really hope she's watching me. She's from New Brunswick. Such a nice lady, not just because of this. She's a nice person and she makes nice bread. Okay, so this is linen. And this one is even thicker it's also is a gentleman who bought who bought a, a skyline s9 and i was teaching to him and the finishing is done also with the widest one of course because of the thickness you see your fabric is thin well narrow narrow okay fabric is thicker well you you upgrade four or six uh, millimeter hem okay so again, the, the bottom, this is the wrong side, this is the right side, okay? So you're gonna say, hey, Celine, I don't wanna buy um, a foot just to do hem of a dishcloth. Of course not, I understand that. So here's a blouse or a shirt, you say, it's my blouse, okay? One of my blouse. And look, I'm teaching uh, embroidery on garment if you see the embroidery tone on tone I like it because you can wear it with anything decorative stitches okay and on the side not on the side at the end you the road hem four millimeter if it's too narrow you know sometimes you buy a shirt and the bottom rolls over it's because the hem is too narrow so I like the maximum six millimeter. 
if you buy a machine and it comes with uh, only the, the regular one, let's talk about the uh, three, uh, nine millimeter machine, it comes with the three millimeter here. But if you had to buy only one, buy the widest one, the six millimeter. But you know, sometimes it's too much and sometimes it's not enough, the two is okay. When it comes to seven millimeter, both are sold in the in the in the blister pack four and six okay they're not very expensive but you know when we buy it's always expensive and when we sell it's never expensive and a lot it's never expensive so it depends so now i'm going to show you how to do this okay i'm tempted to show you a problem a way to start two problems okay I'll do something wrong two things wrong to prove you that I'm gonna do right after so you always start by cutting um, an angle not 45 degree maybe 30 degree not more than this because what the fabric it will do, it'll, go, it'll come like this. It'll roll twice. So the raw edge will be really in the fold here. And you'll have a nice finish. So always start by cutting the end. Not much, just a bit. And never do it when everything is like that. You know, it has to be clean. Clean cut. Really these will go in and out and what you will do then you're coming and try to cut this and by mistake you cut your nice fabric so let me show you something and i'll position like that i think and my luminous lamp on top of that i think now we're okay you see if i don't cut my end in an angle look look at this it doesn't it, it's going but it's not staying you see it's too hard and look at this here we go lower the foot and I'm using a straight stitch and I can land my stitch if I want I can needle position if I want also but it's it's ready so you see I roll I wrote, I start, I always start in the fabric with it, which I didn't do now. I see it, I'm not happy. So, now, first mistake, okay? I'm telling you, it's gonna be bad, but then I'll show you good. You don't push enough the fabric. It won't roll twice. And you push too much your fabric. Okay, too much, you'll see. But, my machine is so good <laughs> it didn't produce what i want oh la la I'll, I'll start the other way i want to do something wrong and uh, or the machine is good or ceiling is good okay let's go always start in the fabric so i'll do too much too too much i hope i want to make a mistake oh i get it okay and then not enough not enough turn cut the thread oh yes i'm okay okay you see if you push too much it goes in and out and what's happening you come with your scissors by mistake you clip the thread look look how not nice it is okay and well this is not fold enough see this is not fold enough see it's just just single fold like this this is not what you want you want really rolled so the secret is roll over this spiral here and make sure your fabric is landing here right at the bottom of the uh, right at the angle here okay let's do it nice now 
again. So I'm, I'm starting with um, with a uh, nice fabric, uh, uh, just organza. Again, clip a corner, not too much, just to let it go in. And I don't have my, whoops, okay. I like my thread holder because then you don't have a mess underneath, huh? Okay. Foot down. Okay. And I'm going to put the camera this way. So you see the way I roll it, the way it's rolled here. Okay, I, I, I keep hitting the camera. And then, okay, I'll do it on the other side after. Cut the thread. Look if it's good. It, it is perfect. Now you see, hmm, I'd like to have a zigzag here. See, I hope at the camera you see it's fold twice and I see it's here. The end of the, the raw edge is inside in the fold line. Let's do it on the other side with a zigzag. So I'll choose the zigzag on my sewing machine. I can play with the width of the zigzag and the length of the zigzag, okay? This is what I'm doing now. And... Again, mm, 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 I didn't pull my thread, and always start sewing in the fabric. If you're not in, push the fabric. Now it's a zigzag. I'll stop. I'm going to enlarge my zigzag to show you something else. You'll see the difference. You know when you see the difference on the same sample, then you can judge better. Cut the thread. Okay. Narrow zigzag, wider zigzag. Okay. So it, it depends what you want to create. There's something I don't like here. You see my zigzag? It didn't catch all the width of the fabric here and I have extra fabric while here it's perfect it depends on you it's no problem you know it's it's okay if you wash it wear it they'll never have, you'll never have a problem but it, it depends on you what you like what you prefer so this is done then maybe in books you will find some place it'll tell you fold this make a fold um, of um, of the end of your fabric and then it'll be really really st uh, yeah stiff it depends of your fabric eh? the fabric you have to obey to the reaction of the fabric first of all we always make a sample first huh eh? Roll my fabric inside, foot down, always sew in the fabric, never sew without fabric. And you see, and if I choose a zigzag, I will enlarge it a little bit. Okay. Thread cutter, lift the foot. So, here you go. It's just a little bit thicker. Not weak, you know. If it's done twice, you're okay. But if you fold it and it's done again, well, it's stronger. But stiffer. So, you know, you have to obey to the reaction of the fabric. That's all I can say. Hey, look how nice it is here. This is really rolled. And I don't think you can see, but it's, it's really round, really round the end here. And if it's too close, the stitches, well, you can uh, length your stitch length. Huh? Okay, so this is done. 
Now, let's, oh, yeah, yeah. okay, let's change the foot. So this is the one that comes with many of Genomi machine, many models. And if you don't have that foot with the machine and with the model, you, you didn't, you did buy, you did, yeah. Um, order, order from your dealer. Okay. Now I'm going to start with D2, which is a four millimeter hem, rolled hem, hem. Thread down, up, thread holder, as usual, and I have to be careful, the one, okay, this one. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hold it. Okay, always the same thing. Cut, not a bias, just a little angle, maybe 20, 30 degrees. Okay, foot down make sure you're inside and rolled and you go i'll lift the camera and closer and whoops ay 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 oh no i mean zigzag i want a straight stitch oh la la sorry then you look did I do right? Did I do wrong? Ooh la la, how nice it is. Okay, so if it's nice, I'll keep going. If not, you know, it's a straight stitch. It's easy to remove and to start again. You iron in between, huh? And what I like me, I like to starch my, well, yeah, starch my fabric a bit with Terial Magic. I like that. Just spray a little bit and starch. So look at this, four millimeter. But I'll show you a little bit more than this. With this one is the 15,000, but on some machine, electronic machine, you have the house and you have a t-shirt. And what do I want to do? I want to do rolled hem, you see? It's all in French. You have a French class at the same time as a sewing class. So straight stitch, zigzag. But if I didn't want this, I can myself choose straight stitch and the uh, zigzag stitch. There's no problem there. But when I have a t-shirt and I choose the application, the machine adjusts everything for me. The right stitch length, the right stitch width, it tells me which foot to use. And this time I'm going to use a four or six millimeter. And the machine tells me D1, D2, and the machine adjusts for me the best setting for, for those feet. Okay, so I'm back here. Not every machine has that. But there's no problem, huh? So now I'm going to go to six millimeter, and there's really a difference. So if I do the bottom of a shirt, this is what I prefer six millimeter because, like I said, if it's too narrow, your hem will roll on the right side of the fabric, and you know, it doesn't you have to iron it? And oh, it's not when you sew, you know. When you buy, you have no choice. When you sew, you do it your way, the right way. Again, I cut a little bit to make sure, to help me to insert inside that uh, cone here, spiral, I should say, okay? And I touch nothing else, then I, I will on top, so then you'll see better. Then I touch nothing else, the machine adjusts for me see look how nice it is you see it rolled I put my finger here because I don't want just just to I don't want it to roll too much just put my finger you know it's it's practice it's an habit but it's not hard okay cut the thread 
with the foot by itself. Hey, come on, huh? Six millimeter. It's it's so so nice, huh? So um, this is optional feet. Okay, now this is done. Now you're gonna say to me, can we sew over seams? Yes, you can. Okay. And that's my proof. Okay, I did it. So I prepared for you a sample with a seam allowance of 5.8. Seam allowance of, uh, seam allowance of 5.8. And again, to start, you need a little angle, but here you don't want, I want it to be at the same height. You don't want to bulky because, hey, look how thin it is when it comes to roll. Look at this. So it cannot be too bulky. And I'll take my thread in my thread holder okay and it's gonna be red so <laughs> you won't miss it and one thing I should do because I'm going over I'm going to lend my stitch land just to help me because this will be thick here you know usually it's doing this now it's going to do the same thing plus these two thicknesses so again Okay, and then start. Okay, pull off my seam. Ah, oh, is the machine going? Oh, must be a Genome machine. Of course, look at this. Now, you can't miss it with red, huh? Okay, so it went over. Look how nice it is. But I lent my stitch a little bit. So to do a hem, you know, the start is always the challenge. Okay? So then, so you, you're good now, huh? You, you did the different type of fabric, uh, sew over a seam. Now you want to push your luck. Celine, can I turn corner? Of course you can. But this is a real challenge. Okay, now let me take my sample. I have to prepare a little extra. Okay, the first thing we do is, again, the, your start is always the same. Cut a little bit, straight stitch all the way up to the end. Then you need, you do not cut this time to turn the corner. You cannot just go around and turn. Huh? You don't go and turn. You have to do it in a few steps. Okay. So then I'm going to the ironing board. I'm folding and I'm ironing the beginning here. Just the beginning. See, the, the rest is not done. And then with the thicker thread... You know, like last week, I showed you the binder foot. Oh, no, hold on. Okay. And pull. Come into my loop. Okay. Then I'm going to help myself because I'm really starting thick here. Okay. And this is going to help me to slide Maybe my hands are on, in the way, but I think I'm okay. Foot down. Uh, I'm going just to go back a bit. If you want, you start with a lock stitch. And, okay. And you see, I took here a thicker thread to make sure that I start good. I'm okay and then I keep going 
cut the thread, thread cutter, I should say. Did I turn a corner? I didn't do a lock stitch because I, uh, I could do a lock stitch. And then what do you do with this? You just remove it because it's just a, it's a help, you know? There we go. So if I did the lock stitch, I could clip my thread. But look at this. So red on white, for sure, you saw that I can turn a corner. Okay? And the job is not bad, you know? Okay. So rolled hem foot or feet because they're street. A big help is Terial Magic. Okay, but there's a better help than all this. You know, I'm I'm talking to you uh, 30 minutes about, okay? And then, I don't know if you're going to, maybe you, you don't like rewind and listen and pause and da, da, da. Press a foot book, roll them 2 millimeter, 4 millimeter, 6 millimeter, you have five pages and it gives you tips it's on writing you have pictures look color pictures oh it's so well uh, explained decorative stitches so i uh, for sure i recommend the presser for the book what can i say it's uh, I, I like uh, it's a help okay so i come back on me yes okay and uh, well until uh, next time which will be tomorrow um, practice you have uh, just half an hour an hour on the um, on the sewing machine huh? just to practice and say oh I did it good I'm okay so I hope I'm okay. Yes, I'm okay. So I thank you for watching and I'll uh, see you again uh, tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.